Well, hello there, and thanks for stopping by. Before this video begins, I'd like to go ahead and ask you to like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Now today, we're gonna to be making a classic dessert in the fastest and easiest way possible. For the sake of the recipe and the video, however, I'm gonna be breaking it down a little slower, so it's not gonna be quite as fast as when you make it at home, but I promise you, it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be easy, and it's gonna taste great. Now, without further ado, let's get cooking. Now, I'm gonna say go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 because we're probably gonna get done before it preheats. Now, obviously, you don't want anything to stick to your pan. So go ahead and grab your pan, grab you a little bit of grease, vegetable oil, whatever you like, and just kind of give it a good old dousing. Next is your bread. You can use whatever bread you like, it doesn't matter. Now, what a lot of people do with their bread is they take the time and effort to cube it. Listen, this is fast and easy bread pudding, okay? So we're not gonna spend the time cubing it, decrusting it, anything. We're just gonna put it directly in our pan. Press down on it, get it nice and there we go. That's great, perfect. Get the air out of this bag. Don't forget to twist tie, guys. Don't forget to twist tie. That way your bread, <laughs> that way your bread doesn't get stale. All right, now you gotta take your pudding, your, your snack pack, whatever flavor you like, and just get you a nice helping pudding right all over on that bread, okay? Now, I'm a little greedy. I'm gonna use two packs, okay, guys? two packs of delicious snack packed pudding. Now, the great thing about snack packed pudding is that it's made with milk. So we are, we got the milk covered, it's got sugar in it. We don't have to worry about the sugar. It's a little gross right now. It's all clamped up, but that's because we got to put these eggs in here, right? Can't forget about your eggs. So you just go ahead and crack you a couple eggs. I'm using two. Wash your hands after you crack your eggs. You don't want to contaminate anything, guys. Now, it wouldn't be bread pudding without cinnamon. You gotta have cinnamon, all right? Now, you don't need sugar because the snack pack pudding already has sugar in it, right? Now, we, we don't have time to mix this all up in a bowl. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna stir this all up, all right? Get it, get it all stirred up, get it nice. Even, you wanna ensure that your yolk is broken up and it's all mixed together with your pudding. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad time. Make sure you don't, uh, don't leave any dry spots on your bread because when you throw it in the oven, it's gonna be bad. Can't have that. Now, doesn't that look tasty? Doesn't that just look delicious bread pudding? Now let's be honest guys, we, we set out from the start this is gonna be fast and easy. We got the easy part done, it's already finished, it's prepared. The fast part is the problem, because we do have to bake this, and the oven isn't even close to being done preheating. So, to speed things up, we're just gonna go ahead and throw it in there, because why not? I mean, it's gonna get cooked anyway, so let's just go ahead and do that. A little warm in there, it's gonna be just fine. Absolutely okay. And uh, normally you're supposed to cook this for about 35 minutes. We're gonna set that bake timer. We want it fast, right guys? We don't wanna, we don't wanna wait forever for it. So we're just gonna say 15 minutes. That should be plenty of time to cook this. Okay guys, we're gonna start that and uh, We'll see you guys in 15 minutes. All right, now that our 15 minutes are up, let's get this bad boy out of the oven. But, safety first. Oh yeah. Oh, you can smell that delicious goodness. And there you have it, folks. A fast and easy spin on a classic dessert. Now, as the French say, bon apple tip. <laughs> oh, 